Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to say another congratulations to everybody who's sitting here who's achieved something today. So well done. You can all relax now. Um, so the last three years have been quite challenging. My degree got off to a rather shaky start. Um, I broke my leg in three places two weeks before I was due to enrol, um, thinking I could still do a cartwheel at the age of 30. Um, I couldn't. <laughs> uh, so it made commuting from the Isle of Wight three days a week a little bit more challenging. Um, but I'm glad I persevered, otherwise I wouldn't be here right now. Um, I completed my foundation years in horticulture um, with the uh, amazing um, teaching from Chris Bird um, and the other horticulture team, um, as well as um, some great classmates as well. Um, I changed over to wildlife ecology and conservation for my final year, which, although it wasn't the original plan, um, it's actually been a massive blessing in disguise. Um, it's given me the opportunity to try and bridge a much-needed gap between the two industries. Um, it's also made gardening and horticulture far more interesting as well. Uh, I can now appreciate the beauty and uh, the complexity in a, a pile of leaves, and now I'm often found in, in the forest staring at moss. Um, so alongside studying, I've also used the skills to set up my own business. Um, I've done work experience at the Eden Project, Venner Botanical Gardens, and I've also been learning to drive. So it's been quite, quite a, a busy three years. Um, so, but it hasn't just been the content of the course that's, and the information that we've learned. It's also how we process and deal with the information. I think we're all different people than we were three years ago. I can also now confidently tell my boyfriend I'm not argumentative, I'm just very good at critical analysis. So most of us who study at, or teach at Sparshall have, we share a common interest um, and a passion for the natural world. But actually you don't have to have a degree to make a difference. Sadly, species extinction is going at an alarming rate right now. And it's not just big cats and rhinos. It's the species and habitats in our own immediate environment that have been maintaining, and maintaining our landscapes for millennia. We tend to focus our efforts on agriculture and industry and try to shift the blame a little bit, but we can't rely on these changes to happen quick enough, and ultimately we are all responsible. So by managing the green space in our own communities and gardens with wildlife more in mind, we can help support our local ecosystems. But this isn't just about ecological gains, it's all about the benefits to our physical and mental health from reconnecting with nature. And I think no one could argue that at a time when our lives are mostly governed by technology. So when you leave here today, you know, maybe think about building a pond, not a big one, it doesn't have to be the size of a lake, plant some flowers, plant some trees, and please stop pulling the dandelions out of your lawns. You know who you are. So thanks again to everyone, and well done to everybody here, and for everyone who supported us through the late nights and the occasional tears, um, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Every one of us would like to give an enormous thank you to everyone who helped make our experience at the course possible. To begin with, a huge thank you is in order to our friends and families for supporting us through thick and thin during all the emotional roller coasters and all nighters. We recognise uni as a very expensive time and we would like to give our gratitude to those who helped make it possible. You must have a lot of faith in us. Now, we would, now where would we be without the lecturers and other staff members at Sparshall and supporting institutions, especially for their extra time and support when a lot of us needed it most? A further thanks to our supervisors during our dissertations to give us that extra edge with our interesting and diverse projects. These thanks would not go without a mention to those who gave us the opportunities of using the amazing facilities at Sparshall. Not forgetting the incredible experiences that took place in and out of the UK that furthered our skills and knowledge. Furthermore, those who helped and understood those with health issues, be it physical and mental, deserve an inordinate amount of thanks to allow our students the strength and perseverance to carry on and reach our goals. Now, I'm sure many, if not all of us, would be very thankful for a 24-hour library, staying up till the early hours of the morning, if not all night, to finish an assignment, usually the night before. I know I have. Trying to print out a poster, only to, be back, only to go to bed and be bailed out by the Reaper graphics team the next day. So on that note, 
we would all like to thank one another for being that extra leg to stand on and that shoulder to cry on, because we all know we have made friends that will last a lifetime. Thank you.